What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro back with another video. In today's video, I want to show you guys how to design a website mainly for designers kind of like myself since I am a student at the university and I'm studying graphic design. So Wix has of course invited me to uh, share their really cool website with you guys so you guys can go ahead and create a portfolio or anything that will allow you to show your creative side, whether it be for graphic design, illustration, freelance, whatever it really is, it will ask you what kind of website you want to create. So in this case, I'm gonna go onto the portfolio and CV. You guys can do designer, but in this case, I wanna focus mainly on a portfolio. So I'm gonna click on portfolio. Now, if you choose on let Wix ADI create a website for you, it will pretty much build the website kind of step by step. So it's a little bit easier for you. I would recommend this. So click on start now and you can always go onto the advanced editor and then I'll ask you a quick question. So what kind of resume or portfolio do you wanna create? So in this case, I'm just gonna go with a portfolio because I wanna share my, you know, all of my work that I've done. And I'm gonna go click on next, okay? And on the next page, it's gonna go ahead and bring up more options or more questions for you. It will say, does your website need any of the following features? And currently I don't have any of these features or any of these features that I want on my website. So you can click on skip. I'm just gonna click on next. The next question is choosing your business name. So I'm gonna name the Design King just for the sake of this tutorial. I'm gonna click on next. And then it's gonna bring you up with where your business is located. In this case, uh, I don't have a business or you know a location for that. So I'm gonna click on skip to skip this page. But if you do have a location, enter it there so people can quickly find you. And that would be really, really nice. So right here gives you a, a couple of more options. You guys can go ahead and add your logo. And if you click on that, it will allow you to choose uh, your logo. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and choose just my standard avatar or profile photo. And it will also give you the name right here, which is the Design King, your contact email. You can also add social media. So if you click on add social media, you can go ahead and paste your link there. If you have Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, anything you have, you can add it here. You can add your address, your phone and fax number. I'm going to click on next because I don't want to. Uh, and right here, it gives you a little welcome screen. Click on start. And here it will allow you to choose what you want to create. I will normally go with minimal. Now it says, would you like me to create a color palette from your logo? In this case, you can skip it or create a color palette. I'm gonna go ahead and create a palette just to see what it will do. So it's gonna choose the cyans, the reds, some in my skin tone, and there you go. It's really, really cool. So now it says, here's the color palette I've created for you. You can always change your colors later. Now it's gonna ask you, now I'm going to create your homepage. So click create my homepage. So now it says, here it is, the first version of your homepage. This is all going to change throughout the tutorial, so just don't freak out. So click on this little play button right here to, to go through the steps. And there's a couple of steps, but trust me, this is really, really cool. So we have the preview site, so click on this and click on the preview option to preview your website and see how visitors will see your website when they go on it. So this is what they will see if they go on your page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the X to go out of the preview mode and then click on change website design to change the design of your website. Now it says you've chosen to change the design of your website. I can choose a new design for you or show you how to do it. In this case, I would do show me how because this will be very helpful when if you wanna go back, you can see all the steps and stuff that you can do. All right guys, so right here, it'll ask you to choose your theme. So click on themes right there. And then on the left side, it brings up a panel and it allows you to choose a specific design theme of your choice. So, all right guys, so right here is the theme. It shows you as you scroll down on the page. So it says, what do you think of this design? If you don't like it, you can try another, and if you like it, just click keep it. So I like it, so I'm gonna click on keep it, and then the next step here is to change the website color. So click on that, and then it's gonna ask you to open the design menu. So go there, and then click on colors. And here you can change the different kinds of colors or color schemes or color palettes that you guys would want on your design or that is applicable to your design. So uh, I'm gonna go click on got it and right here it says the recommended palettes or you can go with the logo palette that you chose. If you click on the logo palette, it will go ahead and apply it to your design and you can see right there 
if I click on the plus icon to zoom in a little bit, you can see right there that it's turned red in some of the text there. I have it currently set to logo palette, but if I want to change it, I'm going to go ahead and just go with like, let's say this one right here. And it's just a black and white one. So I'm going to click on that. I like, you know, very basic colors. You can also change the mode to light mode or dark mode if you do dark mode. In this case, I'm just gonna go back to light mode and you can also change the main color right here by choosing a different one. So if you do blue, it will change the main color of uh, some elements in your page. But in this case, I'm just gonna go back to the default black one since I like very basic colors. So I like this. So I'm gonna stick with this palette. You can also go to the advanced editing which is our next step. So I'm gonna click on yes, looks great. Next option is the change website fonts. So here you can change fonts with Wix. So it says, let's switch up your website's fonts. I can choose a new font set for you or show you how to do it. So I'll click on show me how, click on the site design, click on there, go to the fonts right there. And then here you have a couple of options or different fonts that you guys can choose that are pretty much already made for you. And it gives you like a small little description beneath each of the font right there. Now, the cool thing about Wix is that you can also, in the advanced editor, you can select a text anywhere in your page and import your own font if you have your own font um, kind of library kind of a thing, which is really neat. So in this case, I'm just going to go with the minimal design. Once you're done with that, uh, I'm going to click on that. I like it. So I'm going to click on keep it. You can also change the size of this if you want and I'm gonna click on keep it. So the next step here is to change the website animation. So Wix offers animations to any of the elements in your page, which is really nice. So you can add animations to the heading, to the text, and change the animation type. So it says ADI can automatically animate your website, choose an animation style. So if you go to just none, currently is none, but if I click on fade, it will give you a preview here. So I'll click on preview to see how it would look like and you can see how it just faded right there. If you don't like it, just click on try another. So click on keep it I like that. And then the next option here is to change the section design. So it says I'll change the design of one of your sections. So each kind of element here is a section. You know, this would be one section. This would be another section. This is another section. This is a different one as well. So I'm going to click on show me how. So it says click on the section you want to change and I'll show you new design options. So you have this section here. Let's change this one. Okay. You click on it and now it says to click on the designs to see the sections that you can change. Let's say you want a different one. Okay. So you can do stuff like this. So we'll click on it. We'll show you as it changes. You can do something like that if you like that kind of uh, alignment there. I like this one right here. I'm gonna click on this one. I think this is the one I had before. It just looks really, really nice and very clean and simplistic. So I'm gonna click on keep it. The next option is to customize the section design. All right, so now it says to pick the section you wanna change. So click back on the other one that you've selected and then click on the designs option here to change the type of design. So now you can go to customize design and then you have a couple of options. You have color if you wanna change the color. If you click on color, it gives you different um, color, you know, different shades pretty much. I'm going to go back though. I'm going to do animation. I'm going to keep on float. As you can see, you can do slide. As you can see what each one does, you can do fold. You can do fly as, as it flies in. You can do none. So the next option here is to edit the section content. So click on that. So I'm going to click on this one right here, which is kind of like this bottom uh, section there. And then it says to edit your content here and I'll update the changes in your website. You can hide or show text with one click. So click got it right here. We have quote. Uh, I'm just going to leave that how it is. You can do title. If you click this, it will give the quote a title. I'm going to uncheck that though. We have the author, which is Thomas Edison. If we were to change that and do like King Tut's pro, it will go ahead and update it as you can see, but I'm going to go ahead and leave that back to how it was. And then the next option is to add a new section. So we're going to go ahead and go up to add and click section to page. Let's say, I don't know, I want a, it says drag section here or up here or wherever you feel like you want to add it to this one. I'm going to drag it here. You can also drag and drop items in Wix as well as the Wix editor. It can be, you know, text, images, anything really. So you've dragged that. We can also add another one here. So this is beneath the bio. The next and last option is to add a new page. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the ad. We're going to go to page, click on page. The one I chose was this one right here. It's very minimal. All right. So the last thing here, you can see what we've done here. 
This is only in the work page, uh, so don't get scared if it, <laughs> if it changed it. You can also change that if you want. So the next thing to do here is to publish the site or skip it. In this case, I'm going to skip it for now because I'm not finished with it. You can also connect your domain. If you click on connect your domain, you can go ahead and connect the domain if you have one already. I think that's a paid feature. But if you want to publish your site, just click on publish your site up at the top. And then here you can use the Wix's free domain. Click on publish and continue. It's going to go ahead and load all of the awesome things that you've created. It says congratulations. Click view site and it will show you what you've created on the new page. So now this shows you what you have done here. We have that really cool parallax in the background happening. You can change the color scheme or the color palette. You can keep going down. It shows you your work here um, or just quick thumbnails. Here's the quote. Uh, you can get in touch. But if we go back to the top here and we go to work here, we can go ahead and go through what would be your actual portfolio or your work of art or illustrations, whatever, which is really cool for designers, graphic designers, illustrators here. At this point, you're pretty much good to go. You can change stuff if you want. You can change the logo. You can change a lot of things here. So let's say we want to animate. If we go back to the home page, click on page here to get into different pages, click on home. And let's say I want to animate this or let's say let's change our text first. So select this. OK, and I want to change it. So right here on the left is where you change your values for whatever you have selected. In this case, I'm going to just say welcome. So once you're finished with everything here, you want to go ahead and go on to the use advanced editor. Now it says to fully customize your website in the Wix editor. So it will give you a little warning saying that if you want to come back to Wix ADI, any changes you saved in the Wix editor won't be transferred. So we're going to go into the Wix editor. So now we're in the advanced editor mode. And if you want to go ahead and do more customizations to your type or anything else to select it. And let's say I want to add a transition. So we have the animate where we can add an animation. So click on animate and here you can do different stuff. So you can do glide in, bounce in, float in. The other cool thing is a light box. If you guys don't know what a light box is, is like when you ever, whenever you go to a page and a, and a box comes up and you have to close it, that is what a light box is and it captures the audience really quickly. So to do that, it's very simple. Just click on the add in the left corner there. And then we're going to go on to the bottom and select light box. And here you have different styles of light boxes. I'm going to go with the welcome jazzy. So we can edit text. If you want to change it, we can do page title. We can do something much bigger or smaller. We can change the fonts here. We can upload fonts to our own fonts. We can change the font size. So in this case, I'm going to change the background. So click on the background and I'm going to go on to, you can do layouts, design, uh, if we go on design, this will actually change the background for you. So I'm going to do something very simple. So I'm going to go with, so I'm going to go with the flamingos with the palm trees. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. You can go to settings and customize it even more. Sweet. So once you're done, click on exit light mode. And now it says if you want to ever go back to it, just click on pages, go to light boxes and you can go ahead and, and select it. If you don't want it, click here and click on delete or rename it and do other stuff. You can do an anchor. So anchors are really, really nice. Go to anchors and we click and drag that there. All right, guys. So once you've added your anchor, so you want to go ahead and click and drag this in between a section. Now people won't see this actual anchor. Let's say we want to go ahead and click on home or you have other tabs. This will go ahead and bring them down and take them to that exact section quickly without having them to scroll through the whole page. So you can also rename this. I already named it to section title to keep track of sections in case you have a lot of them. So another cool thing is the slideshows and the hover box. So the box slideshows are pretty much exactly what it is. They're slideshows. So let's go ahead and just do one really quickly. Let's do portfolio logo. I'm going to drag this right here in this section there. Now, once you are here, you can go ahead and hover over stuff. So like, it says, say it with slides. So make each slide unique by adding backgrounds, videos, text, and more. Then set your slideshow to auto play and also customize this if you want. However, I'm not going to get into that detailed because I don't want to make this video too long as it already is. So another cool thing that I like to add is the interactive and the hover box. So the hover box are pretty much stuff that you hover over and it shows you more information, whether it be a quote or anything like that. Let's do a quote really quick. 
And let's drag this up here. It does exactly that. This is what he, people would see regularly right now. But once they hover, it will show them this, which is the quote there. And of course, you can drag this to wherever you want. I'm not going to add it to the page though, but you can if you want. Now another cool thing is of course the parallax effect and to add that all you have to do is go onto the strip here and go to the parallax section here and you can go ahead and click and drag whatever you want. So I'm going to drag the parallax bon appetit and I'm going to drag that there and this will allow you to add parallax effect to this right here. Now the page already has a parallax effect. I think this was enabled by default when I selected the page, but you can go ahead and just change the elements here if you would like. You have even columns. The columns are also a unique thing that you guys can use. And the columns are a way to kind of organize your content. And you can see it right there. So we can do uh, change column background or manage columns. You can do one column, you can do two columns or three. This is the first column, this is the second, and this is the third. You can also add another column if you want, and this will be the fourth one here. If you select this column here, you can change literally anything you want. So it shows you right here which column you have selected, column three, and stuff like that. If you click on manage columns, you can do you can duplicate it if you want, you can delete it, you can change the um, order of it. In this case, I'm gonna delete it. All right guys, so that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys found this tutorial or this detailed tutorial helpful in any way. I know it was long. I hope you guys stayed through the whole thing. If you did, that'd be awesome. Comment down what videos you guys want to see next. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.